Today we'll be talking about preventing and addressing suicide, how everyone can play a role. The biggest cultural, social and cultural barrier we have to suicide prevention is the taboo about talking. Talking about both feeling suicidal and talking about psychiatric disorder. That's what stands in the way really of bringing down the suicide rate in the United States. We also know that more people die by suicide in this country than die in automobile accidents and that for every one person who dies by homicide, two people die by suicide. If you have any type of feeling or any type of concern, regardless of who you are, like we said, because oftentimes someone else is going to recognize the warning sign or the symptom, to act on that. And the best way to act on it is to ask the youth. It's a myth to think if you ask them, you're going to implant an idea, you're going to make them suicidal. Ask them, it's okay. Too often times we experience a traumatic loss and we don't know where to find ourselves and we don't realize that there are resources available. It is, it is okay to educate yourselves, to seek out information, look at the person as a whole, you know, all of their environmental concerns and know that there's resources, to share those resources with others, start those uncomfortable conversations because they will start to feel comfortable. So the work that we do, you know, sometimes feels like we can't do enough, but we're seeing communities now take this on and, and really want to make a change, and that makes it all worthwhile. 